developing tonight. A rapper is dead after a double shooting in Bogalusa. Investigators have spent the past 24 hours trying to put all the pieces together in a double shooting there. There were three separate shooting scenes. And as Mike McDaniel explains, authorities believe they're all connected and that they're part of a bigger problem. I've been up since yesterday. Been like At 24 years old, using the stage name Jada Youngin, Javarius Scott made a name for himself as a rapper in his hometown of Bogalusa. His rise in music ended Wednesday night when police say he was shot multiple times outside a home on Superior Avenue. Family members say his father, Kenyatta Scott Sr., was also shot. He's expected to survive. It's sad. It's, you know, it's, it, this is Bogalusa, a small community. Police Chief Kendall Bullen says while on the scene, there was a second shooting just minutes away. An SUV was shot up near the intersection of Marshall Richardson and Ott Roads. Ray McGowan's home was shot several times in the process. I was watching TV, so did I hear about seven, eight shots? So did I just dove on the floor? Later in the night, a third shooting near Our Lady of the Angels Hospital, where Bullen says a house was shot up. No one was hurt. Bolton says all three are connected and part of a larger violent problem. It appears a lot of times some of our shootings and things in the in the young age community are, are people that are on opposite sides of, of the rappers they follow and support. This isn't the first deadly shooting involving a rapper in the city. Last summer, police say a rivalry between two rap groups led to the murder of a 19-year-old rapper hiding out in Bogalusa. There's young people losing their lives for you know nonsense because they disagree with each other. McGowan says it's upsetting to know young people are involved in such violence. It's sad, it's sad, man. With a large social media following, more than 2.8 million followers on Instagram, tributes for Scott haven't stopped since the news of his death. Thursday afternoon, family members gathered outside the home where both men were shot. They didn't want to speak on camera, but say Scott cared about his family and was focused on his two-year-old son, who he now leaves behind. Suspects have been identified in the second and third shootings and warrants have been issued. Police are still trying to figure out a suspect for the first shooting. Meanwhile, city leaders are pleading with anyone who has information to come forward. Reporting from Bogalusa, Mike McDaniel, Eyewitness News. Authorities say Javori Scott has a criminal past. Investigators have connected him to recent crimes involving gang rivalries. He spent time in prison for a gun charge while under indictment for a separate felony in Texas. He had been arrested in Bogalusa before and was booked in Tangipaho Parish on a warrant for accessory to second-degree murder and obstruction of justice.